Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Irish media is reporting Tyson Fury was refused access to the United States on a flight from the UK. And what's curious about the story is Tyson Fury was spotted at the Nathan Gorman fight and seemingly has other events lined up. But we'll get through some of what's being reported because doesn't seem to be there's all this corroborating evidence but it's not to say that there wasn't a flight but not necessarily today i mean who knows but nicola talent so the irish crime writer who works for sunday world she reports via twitter breaking tyson fury has been refused access to the us on a flight from the uk many other associates associates of mob boss daniel kinahan have found themselves blocked from entering us yikes so the Sunday World story, and here is uh, from their website, Tyson Fury refused access. The story itself, it says, World heavyweight champion Tyson Fury was refused entry to the United States tonight because of his former ties to crime boss Daniel Kinahan. It is believed the WBC title holder was not allowed to enter the country earlier tonight by US immigration officials. And then last, it says last month, um, Irish Garda Commissioner John O'Driscoll confirmed more than 600 people with links to the Kinahan leader have been barred from entering the United States by American authorities. And later on, it says that uh, Fury is included on that list, not associated with the crime, but because he's associated or has been associated with Kinahan. So what is this all about, you might be asking? Well, obviously, Daniel Kinahan, who was once Tyson Fury's advisor, is um, alleged to be the boss of the Kinahan cartel, multi-billion dollar drug operation, all that sort of stuff. In April, the US Treasury and other US departments basically um, put sanctions on Kinahan and a number of other top uh, sort of associates within the um, so-called Kinahan family and Kinahan Associates. You can see here, I'm just sort of scrolling through. These are the most, uh, these are the sort of main targets of this uh, probe by the United States to um, to go after this uh, cartel and also its associates. So you can check that out at your leisure. As you can see, US Department of the Treasury. So this story though, does claim that it was tonight, but that's curious in itself because Tyson Fury, and you can see here, this is from Wasserman Boxing. They had a card that was in Liverpool, and Tyson Fury was there to support his cousin, Nathan Gorman. And there are obviously several other photos and videos of him being at that card. There was almost no one at that event. Nathan Gorman, the headliner for that one, Tyson Fury came up to um, congratulate him at the ring apron after Gorman stopped Thomas Selleck. So I'm wondering about that. His social media as well had said that uh, he has got all these events coming up. London, the 17th of June, Carlisle, 18th of June, and all these events for this so-called after party tour that he's having, basically speaking events, speaking engagements, etc. But this was, the fight was in Liverpool. Fury obviously wasn't in London or Carlisle or anything like that. So it's a little unclear about his movements and it's not to say that perhaps earlier in the day that he hadn't tried to go to the United States for a quick trip. I don't know, but it does appear at least, you know, certainly he well, it's concrete. He was in the United Kingdom at the time um, that this, some of this seems to have been claimed and it's, or is this a case that he tried to board a plane to go to the United States and was stopped access? Or is this a case they've just got the wrong day here entirely? Or is this a case that it's just completely made up? Remembering um, Nicola Talent is the journalist that has been heavily involved in reporting on all this Kinahan stuff. She's broken a lot of news. She's been all across this. And she said things about Tyson Fury and reported all sorts of things about the cartel and other activities, links to boxing, etc. Done a lot of work in the past couple of years at um, her own personal risk, obviously with a, a billion dollar drug cartel. Um, and you're talking about them and some of this could have led to with all the exposure the Irish media have been going after the Kinahan cartel for some time uh, and it's uh, eventually um, sort of led to this uh, these sanctions from the Department of the Treasury from the United States and 600 associates as it says um, in that story that they reported 
including Tyson Fury apparently, will be barred from entering the United States. But was this a today thing? Because Fury was certainly in the United Kingdom, very vis visible on TV um, with Nathan Gorman. But I guess some would say, well, maybe he was denied access and he was told, make yourself uh, visible in public, uh, make sure that you're seen so then you can sort of counteract some of this. Who knows what the actual facts are, but if Tyson Fury is actually on this list, what does this mean for his career? So it'd be interesting if someone can actually come out and clarify, can he travel to the United States? Obviously, he spent a lot of time there, especially in Las Vegas. His most recent fights before the Dillian uh, White one with Deontay Wilder were in the United States. And if he can't go back to the United States for you know either fighting or for leisure, that's a big blow for him personally and potentially professionally. He says he's retired, but I'd, I'm not sure that too many people believe that at this point until he gives up his title. Perhaps he will try to, if he is on this list of 600, try to get his name off there. But it is clear that he was with um, Daniel Kinahan. He had famously credited Kinahan, and here's a video clip in the Just background, the of uh, organising what would have been an undisputed fight a couple of years ago with Anthony Joshua, said that Kinahan got the deal over the line. Bob Arum, the US promoter who has promoted Fury in the last, what, five fights or so, had said that Kinahan had received about $4 million uh, as a result of uh, his advisory capacity with Tyson Fury. That was for a number of fights. Fury had publicly come out, and this was a couple of months after he'd credited Kinahan with uh, getting a deal over the line, and that fight never happened, though. Uh, Fury went on to say, he's no longer advising me, I'm not with him, because there was a huge backlash at the time. So what are the actual facts here? I think people are going to be debating this. What's going on here? Because clearly he was in the UK. Is this a timing issue that it wasn't today? It was maybe a yesterday thing or a last week thing. Maybe they just don't have their facts right. Is this a case that they're going after Tyson Fury unnecessarily? Someone's given the tip. It's not panned out. Remembering there's basically nothing in the story to corroborate what they are saying. Uh, the strongest thing is it is believed. I mean, that's not exactly, you can't hang your hat on that. And they've got two full stops, so I can't even um, get that sentence right. So what is the case? I mean, I'm looking at the story and remembering I am a former news journalist. Uh, it's pretty thin. There's the bones of what they're saying. There's nothing to verify it. There's no one, no, they're not even saying a source. It's just saying believed to have been not allowed into the country. I'd be interested for your take too. Is this a, a targeting thing of Tyson Fury? Uh, the Irish media obviously going after Kinahan. Tyson Fury is and has been an associate in the past of Kinahan's, worked with him. So he obviously comes in for scrutiny too. I'll wait with interest to see how this sort of shakes down and what the, um, the statement uh, in response from Tyson Fury is. What do you make of it all? Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.